I've always wanted to do this. Let's go with a review. Hi, this is Stephen Geekface, and back again with another review for yourself here today, which is for the film Bill and Ted 3, aka Face the Music, which takes 30 years after the last one, which came out in the 90s. There's been talks about this film being made for years, just been talks, scripts going left and right. Keanu Reeves been on and off about the film. I think there was at one point he got annoyed even talking about it. I never thought this film was going to be made, but here we are. 30 years later, the film's here. Is it worth the wait? Now this film, as I said, takes 30 years after the last one. The main characters, Bill and Ted, are now parents. Still acting like they were when they were younger. Just now they've got real responsibilities and they feel like their life is not as complete as they thought it'd be with everything destined to them that they were going to do great things. Unfortunately, something crazy happens again which takes our main characters on a time travel, parallel universe adventure where they have to save, not the world, but the entire universe. This was great to see these two together again. Um, the chemistry is still there. Keanu Reeves still brings his A game to this character. Um, he does actually, you know, technically that is how he, well, that's the <laughs> perception of him anyway in, in real life, that's how he talks. But he put his A game in this. Alex Winter, who I've not seen him in a very long time. I know he's got into the more of the, the writing and directing um, roles, but he's really good. The chemistry with them is really strong. And it was so nice to see them again. It was very sweet. Some of the costumes they put on where they have to play different different versions of them in different times, period. Um, <laughs> worked in this film. Another character that I hadn't seen since the last film, which was uh, Reaper, played by William Sarnock, who was really good in this film. Um, really good to see him as well. The chemistry is still there with these characters. It's almost like they never left. They've It's that this has been continuing off camera, and it's just great. Um, some of the new characters, the two main daughters, especially one of them, does a really good job, probably one of the best performance in this film. She gets a lot of the mannerisms of her father in the film. The special effects was fine, some of the jokes were witty. There was moments where, especially if you love the original or the second one, that they kind of continue to what happened to certain characters, and that made me chuckle. There were some new characters as you, as you roll this lot of time travel and uh, meeting different historical figures. They were in the film. They didn't do such a great, great job. I think one or two were okay. And it was a really good performance from Kid Cudi. Um, the only thing I would say bad about the film, the ending just ends abruptly, um, which was a bit weird. Um, it kind of just says, okay, we're done. Good night. I was like, wrong. Did they run out of money? What was, was, I mean, did they get to finish the film because everything going on? I don't know, but it weird, it ended not exactly how I wanted it to end. I had a good time with this film. This is a film for the fans, the, the people who've loved the original. I think more with the people who loved the second one. I'm a big fan of the first one. I grew up and I watched it all the time. The second one, not as much. They are different from each other. But I feel like the ones who enjoy the second one are really gonna love this film. The story's simple to understand, so you get into it. It's just about catching up with these characters again, getting some of the joke. New worth to watch it in the cinema if you get a chance to watch it. I'm gonna give this film a six out of 10. Really fun film, great moments. And like I said, it was a great reunion to see these characters again. So, are you gonna see this film? Which one is your favorite one in the trilogy now? Now it is a trilogy, can't believe we're saying that. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Is there any other films you want to see them make a new, like a, a continuation um, in the franchise? I know I've always been a fan of another Friday to come out. Um, so any other films that you can think of, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching my video. It's been a pleasure once again. And remember to like, share, stay blessed, stay geeked. Bye-bye.